809, Big Ticket Morning Show with Jazzy McBee on V103, ATL's number one fit, Bob R&B and Throwbacks. My boy, DJ Technology hey, on the ones man. and twos. It feel good right there. I appreciate that Believe. mix technology. Believe it. Happy Wednesday, October 2nd, 66 degrees on our way up to a high of 82. Hope your morning is transpiring in the way that you want it to happen. We have the honor and privilege of welcoming into the situation attorney Ben Crump. How yes. are you, sir? I'm good, Tigger, Jazzy. <laughs> Top How of the morning. You? I know, right? Good morning. I know you busy because it seems like I ain't seen you in a long time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Fighting for black people is an everyday job, Amen. man. It America. certainly is. Yeah, we thank you for sure. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Queen. Uh, listen, Ben Crump is presenting this wonderful thing on Sunday, October 13th at Wolf Creek Amphitheater called the uh, Justice... Let me, oh Jazz my. for Justice. Jam, justice Jam. Jam for Justice. Jam for Justice. Jam for Justice uh, is featuring Killer Mike. Anthony Hamilton, Mariah the Scientist, Ty Tribbett, C Black Guys. I see C Black over there. Hey, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a thing. Why are you having this wonderful event? Hey, it's a concert for a purpose, Tigger, because mm-hmm. right now we got to find other ways to influence the culture. They're attacking black culture in the high schools, they're attacking black yeah. literature in the high schools, they're attacking black history in the high schools. Mm-hmm. So we collectively as the village, got to find a better way to influence our young people to make sure, Jazzy, they don't miss out on the black history that is so relevant today, now more than ever, especially, Tigger, when we're dealing with enemies of equality who are presenting Project 2025 Mm -hmm. to try to say stuff like Governor Ron DeSantis talking about slavery had a positive impact Mm -hmm. for enslaved people. So Mm -hmm. this concert is for the culture October the 13th, gates open at 3 o'clock, mm-hmm. Wolf Creek Amphitheater, South Fulton, the blackest city <laughs> in America. <laughs> black, black people, let's come together, right. have black love, and unite. Amen. Tickets are available at VarietyENT.net. And when we come back, we got more with Attorney Ben Crumb. We talking more about the Jam for Justice and everything he got going on right here at Big Ticket Morning Show with Jazzy McBee on the People Station V103. 823, Big Ticket Morning Show with Jazzy McBee on V103. ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwbacks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pr- privileged to have in studio with us Attorney Benjamin Crump. How are you, mm-hmm. sir? Hey, I'm good, brother. Fighting on the front line. I know, All right. the time. And, and my, my attorney, hopefully I never need you, but, you know, we, nah, we building nah. that. <laughs> Jasmine, you on speed dial, queen. <laughs> Listen, you heard that? That's what's happening. Listen, Thank the Jam for, for Justice yes, is happening Sunday, October 13th at Wolf Creek Amphitheater. Gates mm-hmm. open at 3, showtime is 5. Tickets available at VarietyENT.net. I'm talking about Anthony Hamilton, Killer Mike, Mariah the Scientist, mm-hmm. Ty Tribute, C Black God in the building. Uh, it's going to be uh, hosted by our very own DJ Greg Street. Yeah. Sounds by our very own DJ Jelly. Nice. Uh, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett, Nakima Williams, Pastor Jamal Brown. Man, it, it's going it's to be a, a time. Lot. Oh, and my gosh. Nice. It's going to be a great uh, concert with a purpose, and the purpose Absolutely. is for our people, especially Justice. our culture mm. that's under attack. And in November, y'all, Tigger, Jazzy, it's, it's history repeating itself. Mm. Atlanta would be the center of the universe for this 2024 election. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to be talking at the concert about the purpose, y'all. We got an opportunity to make history by electing my dear friend, fellow <laughs> barrister, <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris, mm-hmm. as the first black woman to be president of the United States of America. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Georgia, I know you represent um, Amber, um, Amber Thurman. Um, you, they filed up, The family filed a lawsuit. Tell me a little bit more about that. Certainly. We are getting the medical records. We are contemplating every possible legal avenue mm-hmm. to get justice mm-hmm. for Amber Thurman, Jazzy. Obviously, a lot of people got introduced to her when Vice President Harris was uh, doing the town hall with mm-hmm. Oprah Winfrey, yes. and it had came out that Amber Thurman, right here in the great Atlanta, Georgia area, uh, was the first person documented, first woman, Mm-hmm. to suffer a fatality mm-hmm. in connection with these extreme abortion, abortion right, laws yeah. that put into question if a woman is lying in the hospital bed, Tigger, mm-hmm. doctors can save her life. 
her death is preventable. Mm-hmm. But yet, because these extreme laws, they say, well, will I go to prison if mm-hmm. I do it? Mm-hmm. And we're arguing that she had taken the abortion pills. Mm-hmm. There was no viable fetus. There was tissue that remained inside of her right. yes. that was causing an infection right. that was going to make an septic. Mm-hmm. And I mean, 20 hours, 20. Yeah. pain and suffering, yes. agony. This beautiful black queen, a mother of a six-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. And where were the bedside manners, Tigger? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, where's yeah. the humanity? Where, what about the Hippocratic oath to do no harm and to save lives? Well, in Georgia, it's a big issue with black women, yeah. maternal yes. mortality yes. rates. Yes, it is. And it so is. we got to deal with this, yeah. Jazz. And so that's why we're going to get justice for Amber Thurman. Her mother, should. Net Williams won't be suffering in silence mm. alone. We're going to make sure everybody say her name. This is Atlanta, y'all. Mm. This is right. our home, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, we got a, Attorney Benjamin Crump in the building. Um, it's been <clears throat> 12, 13 years since Trayvon Martin. Yeah, man. Um, you've had many high-profile cases since then, and we we appreciate your, your hard work and your efforts on them. But uh, just to keep everybody updated on some of them, there's some new development in the Breonna Taylor case. Yeah, just yesterday, the breaking news is, uh, you know, this judge, this federal judge dismissed the charges against the two officers right. who lied, mm-hmm. Jazzy, on the search warrant. Mm-hmm. They lied on the probable cause affidavit to entice the judge to sign the no-knock warrant, uh, which, by the way, they disproportionately serve against black people. They ain't kicking in white people doors mm-hmm. at 1 o'clock in right. the morning unannounced, but they feel they can do this to black people. So the judge logic, which is, I think, just asinine, he said that because Kenny Walker, Brianna's boyfriend, mm-hmm. they thought somebody breaking in their house at 1 in the morning while she's practically naked in her nightgown, in her bed, Kenny and them think they're breaking in. He is a law-abiding citizen right. with every right to the Second Amendment because black people got Defend a right to the Second mm-hmm. Amendment, too. Mm-hmm. And he was defending his house, his castle, his woman. And so he shoots at what he thinks are intruders. And then, obviously, 32 bullets come and eight right. bullet holes end up in Brianna's body. Mm-hmm. And the judge rationalizes mm-hmm. that, well— if he wasn't a shot back trying to defend his house, then Brianna That's wouldn't crazy. be dead. So we're going to blame it all on him and just re- not even pay right. attention to the fact that the cops lied mm-hmm. on Brianna. I mean, they lied on her. So the district attorney, and thank God for Christian Clark, mm-hmm. the black woman heading up the Civil Rights Division mm-hmm. of the Department of Justice. She has been dogmatic, got convictions for George Floyd killers, got conviction for Ahmaud Arbery killers. I mean, she's going at them. Right. She refiled. <clears throat> and she's added facts to the case about the lie, right. about everything they did. Mm. And so now we're going to see what this federal judge who is appointed by a Republican mm. okay. is going to do. Elections matter, mm. y'all. Yes, they do. I mean, if Kamala Harris is appointing the federal judges. Yep. Jazz, it's going to matter. Mm-hmm. If Donald Trump appointing them, you're going to get what we're going to get. It's still going to matter. Yeah. It's just going to matter in a different way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Project 2025 is real. It is real. Um, Sonia Massey. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Then, okay. Where are we uh, with that? Now, I mean, we're running short on time. Okay. So give me the short uh, version. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's charged with first-degree murder. Okay. Uh, but... Just like Laquan McDonald in Chicago, Illinois, got shot 16 times in the back. Just because there's a charge doesn't mean there's a conviction. Mm -hmm. And hardly ever, just like we talked about Breonna Taylor, Mm -hmm. hardly ever do black women get justice when the police kill them. Mm -hmm. And so we got to say her name, Sonya Massey. Sonya Massey, Mm -hmm. without question. Tyree Nichols. Tyree Nichols, as we sit here right now, Tigger, Mm -hmm. in Memphis, Tennessee, we all saw the video where they beat the hell out of him. Oh, my God. I mean— the trial is going on. We expect the verdict by Friday, the criminal trial. And, uh, you know, we're suing the city of Memphis for $500 million because we have oh, to wow. send the message every time they unjustly kill a black person. Black, what I say, we're going to bankrupt them because they get, we got to make it financially unsustainable mm. for them to continue to kill black people mm-hmm. unjustly. That's, that's all right. they're going to understand. Yeah. Man. It hit them in the pocketbook. They don't, that's America all they is a capitalistic society. Right. Yeah. And I, so all of this we're going to be talking about in a positive way at the concert because yeah. we're going to okay. be 
unapologetic defenders of black life, mm-hmm. black liberty, and black humanity. I know that's right. Uh, yeah, that's the Jam for Justice on October 13th. It's going down Wolf Creek Amphitheater. Doors open at 3, showtime at 5. Variety, ENT.net, where you get the tickets. Again, Anthony Hamilton, Killer Mike, Mariah the Scientist, Ty Tribute, C Black Guy, all hosted by DJ Greg Street from B103. My boy DJ Jelly on the ones and twos. All kinds of civil, uh, all kinds of speakers. Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett, Congresswoman Nakima Williams, Pastor Jamal Bryant, and more. Sir, I appreciate your time we this do. morning. Hey. I, I appreciate all Never your hard work. Thank you for fighting Absolutely. a good fight. Black we love, Jazz, it. let's unite black people. Absolutely. Let's do it. This Sun, uh, excuse me, next Sunday, October 13th, is going down to Jam for Justice. 831 now with the Big Ticket Morning Show with Jazzy McBean. You're nine minutes away from, from free. Look, we like a, a, a economic freedom around here. So Amen. We're going to help free you with $103 and a shot at a whole lot more <laughs> inside that free money kitty. Give us the phrase that pays. And you'll win at 840 right here on V103.